Hi, this is Mr. West, and today we're doing a Khan Academy tutorial on graph quadratics in vertex form. This is a Khan Academy exercise talking about quadratics. And before we start, so we're given this equation right here, but before we start, we should kind of recognize what vertex form is. It's one of my favorites. It probably is my favorite form for graphing parabolas because it gives you the vertex right away. So obviously vertex form is good at finding the vertex. It's very apparent by looking at this H in K. So you'll see here that H is this one right here. It's in the form of X minus H, and H just happens to be the X coordinate for the vertex. So keep in mind, this is your X coordinate, and then your Y coordinate is the second point, and the Y coordinate for the vertex is just this K portion right here. So K is the Y coordinate of the vertex, and H is the X coordinate for the vertex. One of the most uh, uh, tripped up common mistake uh, errors that I see is that people often put the minus H in there and it's, you gotta think of the opposite here. And once we do a couple examples, you'll see that we just put the opposite of what it appears to be and that's gonna be the X coordinate of our vertex. So step one of this one is we wanna identify what is H and what is K. So we're gonna look here and we see that H is a negative one. You, I know what you're thinking, what, it says plus one there. Why are you saying that it's a negative one? It's a negative one because we see here that it's in the form of minus, X minus H. So if it says plus, that means it's minusing a negative one, okay? So if you're wondering why are you saying that the X coordinate is negative one, it's because uh, it's in the form of X minus H and minus minus will turn into a plus. So just think opposite. If you see plus one in that parenthesis next to H, then think that it's gonna be the opposite, which is negative one. Now here, this is what causes a lot of confusion, is when the students take a look at this minus three, they oh, the opposite. No, for, for K, for the Y coordinate of the vertex, it's the same. Okay, so we're gonna put minus three for the y, y coordinate of the vertex. So this vertex is at negative one, negative three. So that's that's important to know, okay? So that's how we find the vertex. That's the most important point. So we're gonna go negative one and then negative three, and that's where our vertex is. Now we need to find, step, that's step one. Now we need to find the y-intercept. That's gonna help us graph another point. You don't have to use the y-intercept, but I just think it's the easiest, so we might as well use whatever's the easiest. How do we find the y-intercept when we are uh, given the equation up here. So let me show you how that works. We know x equals zero. That's what that is right there. So we're just gonna plug in zero into our equation. So we're gonna replace this x and put a zero there instead. Let me show you what that looks like down here. So we have y equals five times zero plus one instead of just x plus one squared, and then we minus three. We're just gonna do order of operations here. So first inside the parentheses, so we get one, squared, and then five, and then minus three. Then we have to square the one, so that is just one, so we have five times one minus three, that's a three, <laughs> even though it doesn't look like it. All right, here we go. Minus three equals y, and then we have y equals five minus three, which is just equal to two. So we have our uh, vertex, that's negative one, negative three. Now we have our y-intercept, which is two, so that's really the point zero comma two, we plugged in zero for x, then we got our y, which is positive two. So we are gonna go ahead and plot that as our second point. So that's up there. And that's what our, gra uh, our parabola looks like. Has that vertex where we found it and then intercepts at two. And we're gonna check the answer. And that's all there is to it. It's a two-step pro uh, two process. And let me show you how it works one more time. So here we have x minus four. That's again, x minus h squared. And then we're gonna add K. So our K value, we can just match that up. That's gonna be our Y coordinate for the vertex. And then our X coordinate, we need to think the opposite. So instead of minus four, we're gonna put plus four and we got our vertex already. It's four comma three. Now, another note, the vertex is this one right here. Don't be moving this one to four three because the vertex is either the highest or the lowest point of a parabola. Okay, so if it's opening down, it's the highest point. If it's opening up, it's the lowest point. So I'm gonna put the vertex, which is this one, where it curves at four comma three. Okay, so that's four comma three right there. Four, take a look, that's four comma three. All right, now I need to find my y-intercept. That's my second step. So step one, step two, I need to find my y-intercept. I need to know what y equals when x 
equals zero. So I'm gonna go zero minus four squared plus three. So I know zero minus four is minus four. So I finished my parentheses step. Now I'm on to my second step, which is uh, exponents. So I'm gonna square that three times two. 3 over 2, I mean, times 16 plus 3. Now I'm on to my multiplication step, which is multiplying this. I'm going to cross off the 16 with the 2. And that gives me 8. So now I have 24 plus 3. Final step, 24 plus 3 equals 27. And that's my y-intercept. Now, this is not good. The reason why it's not good is because I can't put y equals 27 um, on my graph. Okay, so that, that's a problem. I won't be able to just like go up here and I don't know where 27 is on this graph. So I need to think of a different point. Okay, maybe something a little closer to my vertex. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look for a different point. Um, and I'm going to plug in a different number. So instead of 0 for x, I'm going to instead plug in, uh, let's do 5. And I chose 5 because... That will give me a nice number inside my parentheses. So I'm gonna I'm gonna choose five. So I'm gonna plug in x equals five, and I know it won't give me a y-intercept, but it will at least tell me where does this point go on this green line. See how there's that there's that green line on x equals five. That will tell me what my y value is once I plug it in. So I'm gonna plug it in. So I got y equals, and I want to know what y equals when x equals five. So I'm gonna do five minus four squared plus three. What do I get? Well, I get one. And then I'm going to have to square it and then multiply it by 3 over 2 plus 3. So I get 3 over 2 plus 3. You know what? I chose a bad number. And the reason why I did is because what ends up happening is I get a fraction. I can't plot a fraction on Khan Academy. So guess what? i got to choose a different number. Okay, so I, a little bit of trial and error here, but I think I'm going to get it with 6. So I'm going to change this number to 6. Green really doesn't show up that much. well. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to erase this all. I'm going to choose a different color. Let's choose something like blue. That shows up a little bit better. Or purple. Can I get purple? Yes, I can. All right, here we go. So I got Y. I'm sure you guys are triggered by this go. There we go. So I'm going to choose Y equals, I'm going to do 3 over 2, and then 6 minus 4 this time, squared plus 3. That's going to give me 2 squared, and then I have to multiply it by 3 over 2 still. That's 4 times 3 over 2 plus 3 equals equals. And then I get cross that off, I get 6 plus 3, that's 9. Okay, so I'm in luck. I'm still on our coordinate here, so that's 9. So I'm going to go ahead and plot, uh, I plugged in 6. 6 comma 9 is a point on my graph. So I'm going to go over to 6, I'm going to go up to 9, and that should be good. Here we go. Whew, that one was a little bit tough. All right, so this one has a clue. Notice how the other ones have been positive. This is negative, so guess what that means? Anytime you have a negative sign out in front, and that's your A value, by the way. A uh, controls the vertical stretch or compression. I can talk about that in another video. I think I do. Make sure to check that out. But if it's negative, it's going to open down, and if it's positive, it opens up. So what I do is I just like make this like a face. A smiley face opens up. If it's positive, it's negative. It's kind of like a frowny face, okay? That's a way to remember it. Let me go back to what uh, we're doing here, and that is trying to figure out my vertex first. So my vertex first, I know, is 1, comma, negative 4. And I do that because it's the opposite for x, and it's the same for y. So this negative 4 for y, the opposite of negative 1, positive 1 for x. So I'm going to do that first. 1, negative 4. There's my vertex. I know it opens down, so I know it's going to be somewhere over here. Let me see if I can get a y-intercept. So I'm going to plug in 0 for x. Y equals negative 2 times 0 minus 1. I should just write it. I'm gonna just so I don't confuse you, I'm going to write it. All right, there we go. Sometimes I like to do steps in my head, but that doesn't help you guys. So I'm going to do negative 1 squared. That gives me positive 1 times negative 2. Don't forget I'm subtracting 4. So negative 1 squared is a positive 1. And then that becomes just negative 2 minus 4. And that gives me negative 6. Okay, we're in business. So I can go 0, negative 6 for my y-intercept, and I'm done. I got my two points, and I'm golden. All right, here we go, last one. Now, it doesn't look like there's a k here. There is. The k is plus 0. So I know my y uh, value for my vertex is 0, but my x value is going to be positive 2. So there's my vertex, 2, comma 0. Let me just slide that over. 
Okay, I know it opens down, so it's my other point's gonna be here. I'm gonna see if I can get a y-intercept here. I think I'll be able to, so I get zero minus two squared, and then I multiply by the negative three over two, and that is equal to y. That's an ugly equal sign, but you know what it's referring to. So we get negative three over two times negative two squared, that's gonna be positive four times negative three over two. And I'm gonna cancel out the four with the two. Two's gonna be left, so I have negative six equals y. Great. So I'm gonna go down here to negative six. There is my y-intercept. That's my vertex. Should be all set. And we're done. That's vertex form. If you are confused on any graphing in vertex form, this was obviously the video for you, but there's also videos that I've made on standard form. Uh, intercept form, I also call, called factored form. So make sure to check those out also. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.